The AHRC has chosen to host these awards in 2015 because it's 10 years since its founding, or at least since it became the body that it is today. We were looking for a way to celebrate research and we decided that a documentary film competition for short films would be a very fresh and vivid way to do that. The films being showcased and rewarded here this evening all say something profound about our world and being human in it, about who we are, about our languages, identities, emotions, histories and cultures. That's what film gives us access to, to the full, strange and startling breadth and depth of who we are. It's also the fabric of the arts and the humanities. And the winner is Hazel by Jacqueline Donaghy from Northumbria University. delighted to have won the award and uh, I think it means that the voices of these women have some importance to other people. Uh, especially in my eyelids they are a bit hooded and also they can sort of like pull them and they look a bit strange. So I'm very very glad that it's been recognised within an academic context because I made it perhaps more for an art and science context and I just feel delighted. And the second gold envelope of the evening and the winner of the Innovation Award is The Adventure of the Girl with the Light Blue Hair by Ronan Deasley and Bartolomeo Meletti. I now find myself as a filmmaker who produces short animated films that try to educate and inspire people to engage in positive lawful copying in their creative and innovative activities in everyday life. Look at the paint. There's something intriguing about the blue. That three-dimensional gem-like effect can be obtained only with natural lapis lazuli. It's a tremendous honour to have won the award. It's, I mean, it's a great privilege. It, it lies at the heart of a lot of the work that we're doing in terms of producing uh, research-led material that otherwise transcends university spaces. And the winner for the anniversary award is The Voice of Tradition by Lucy Duran. I'm the film editor and uh, I accepted the, the, the award on behalf of Lucy Duran. It was really great to see a uh, work of, that we did over three years recognised and in, in such a beautiful location and amongst so many talented people. Judging the films was marvellous. At the beginning I thought perhaps it would be too much of a chore because I was very conscious of the responsibility towards people who had invested so much research into these films. The subjects that they cover are, without exception, fascinating and the standard in general is very high. Back to the Inspiration Award, and the winner of the Inspiration Award, the best film inspired by arts and humanities research, is This Island's Mine by Miriam Ray. So I feel very happy. Uh, it's a wonderful uh, uh, thing that happened for this work uh, that's happening with her, Kelly Hunter, who's doing this work uh, in schools with children. This. I believe that uh, film can be an opportunity um, for art and humanity to, to meet, as well invite people to uh, get a view of this world that is uh, generally hidden and difficult to, uh, to, uh, to show. And the winner of the best research film in the year is Can Excel, The Confluence of Agnes. Who's going to take it? <laughs> it's a fantastic feeling to have won this award because a lot of work went into it. It has great potential, actually, um, to bring the results of AHSC-funded research in uh, the realm of the public. A 
we are absolutely thrilled to have received this award. Um, it's been a, a tremendous encouragement. Research is an absolute backbone to, to every filmmaking activity and I think that has been probably underestimated. The awards evening here at the BFI in London has been a wonderful event. It's brought together professionals from the industry, it's brought together academics from various parts of the higher education world, and I think of all cultural forms, film is the one that most reflects the way we live now and also helps us to understand the way we live now.